Brian Mahoney, Associated Press. Uh, Steve, did you know you had been called for a technical foul in, in the first quarter, and, and did you find out then, or did you not know until later? I, I, I thought they called it on Draymond. Um, I thought I deserved it. Um, <laughs> but I thought I heard the announcer say, uh, the PA announcer say that it was on Draymond. So then I thought the second one, Draymond was going to get kicked out. But um, they explained that it was the first one was on me. Right here. One, two, one. Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. You said before the game, we've got to defend like crazy. Yeah. Um, that didn't really seem to be <laughs> happening. At the, what, what went wrong there? Well, first of all, I give them a ton of credit. I mean, they made some tough shots. Um, they made 24 threes. And we knew that, you know, we weren't going to keep them quiet from the three-point line the whole series. Um, they made some tough shots. But we were not sharp defensively. It's always a combination. It's never, you know, one thing. Um, so our defense was not sharp. They made tough shots. They got it rolling. I thought they played a tremendous game. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, is they brought a level of physicality that we did not match, and uh, we have to do a better job with that. Did you have any feeling that perhaps your team, you know, was aware of history in the building and, and might have come out a little tentative? Or something? I don't think there was any concern or, or thoughts about history. I think it was... Um, we played a, a desperate team on their home floor, a great team with great players. Um, um, and they came out and handed it to us. Simple as that. Tim was standing on the left. Tim Cowell, Comedy American News. Steph almost went scoreless in the first quarter. I don't know when that has happened. Was that a matter that were they taking him away and, and were there no counters to that? What did you think of, of his offensive performance? Uh, obviously it wasn't, wasn't his night. Um, started slow. Um, we had some turnovers early, a couple careless ones. Um, and, um, you know, he just didn't get it going. It was just one of those nights. And what did you make of that third quarter? A whole lot of stoppages, yeah. a whole lot of conversations. So there were scuffles. Did, did that just slow you down? Did that do anything to you guys, that, that, the fact that there were so many stops, it took so long that third quarter? It was just an incredibly physical game. Um, you know, that, that was uh, obvious from the beginning. A ton of fouls called early. A um, lot of holding and grabbing and pushing and shoving. And um, it just, you know, got out of hand a little bit. And the third quarter was seemed like the game was stopping every time. Kenny on the right. Steve, Kenny Rona, WHBC. Kenny. After one day off and LeBron and Kyrie playing so many minutes the other night, were you thinking the same thing tonight that they might run out of gas and that, that you guys would be able to come back or no? I was hoping they'd get tired, but they didn't seem to get tired tonight. They were phenomenal. Both, both guys uh, played tremendous games. Um, you know, really did some amazing things one-on-one, -on -one, making shots. And then they got a lot of contributions from others, too. I thought, you know, JR got going, and um, Richard Jefferson gave them good minutes. And um, it was a great team effort for, for Cleveland. And why was Tristan able to impact the game tonight when he really hasn't been able to prior to this? Uh, I mean, that's who he is. He's a great rebounder and physical player, and he made an impact. He's got a front. Coach, Scott Sargent, WFNY, you guys play with a lot of emotion, obviously, and you mentioned the physicality. Is between LeBron and Kevin kind of jawing each other, Zaza, Iman, and then obviously with Draymond, can it get to a point where it gets too emotional for you guys, where it can kind of derail things when you're trying to make a comeback like you were in the third quarter? It was just an emotional game. It's the finals. You know, they were down 3-0. We knew they were going to come out and fight. Um, so there was a lot of fight. And there was a lot of uh, intensity. Um, that's kind of what you expect at this level. Standing on the left. Jeff Shadell, News Herald. Steve, do you think a physical game like that, does that uh, benefit the Cavaliers? Are they a more physical team in, in a situation like this? It benefited them tonight, for sure. Um, I don't think they're necessarily a more physical team, um, but they were the aggressors. They came out, hit us first, um, and uh, they deserve to win because of that physicality and aggressiveness. Um, doesn't mean things won't change in, in game five. Um, and obviously that is something that we have to make sure of, that we come in and we, uh, we play our own style of, uh, of, of ball and, and that we're defending and rebounding and, and playing tougher than we did tonight. Last two here. Robert Latow, Black Sports Online, uh, without trying to get you fined or anything, what did you think of the officiating overall? And is that something that the players just have to adjust to regardless of how they feel that they are being officiated? 
Nice try. <laughs> Last question right here in the front. Second row here. Right in the front row. Right here. Steve Ray Jeske, ESPN 990. Uh, here we are again, three and one, going back to the Bay Area. Last year you won game four, this year at flip-flops. But in what way is this similar, deja vu? Uh, and, and how is it dissimilar? How, is, how does it not feel familiar? Um, it's similar in that it's 3-1. <laughs> you know, we felt great about uh, last year, um, up 3-1. Up That's kind of what you want to do, right, in a, when you have home court. Ideally, you take care of business at home and, and get a split on the road. And uh, so we're in a great spot, uh, and now we have to capitalize. But last year is last year. This year is this year. Um, I'm pretty sure Draymond won't get suspended um, for game five. Maybe he will. I don't know. Um, but uh, we'll go back and tee it up again. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.